So we've done a handful of logo animation tutorials right here on the channel from you know, cinematic to high effects logo animations. But in this video, we're gonna talk about several custom logo animation tips right here for After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sun Duck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. So the good news is you'll be able to animate any logo that you have and we're also giving out some free assets to help you with your logo animations, which I will link it below, but we'll talk about that later in our video. But without wasting more time, let's jump in and let's get started. All right, so we have our logo animation here and we're gonna jump over to tutorial composition. All we have in this comp is a logo and a very simple background. So to get started, we want to be able to create some reveal graphics to reveal on our logo animation. As you can see here, boom, we have these graphics to help reveal our logo and really easy to do this stuff. So the first thing we can do is maybe come here to the tools and we'll grab, say, the ellipse tool. You know, circles or rectangles work very good with logos. And we'll grab the ellipse tool in this case. You can use the rectangle tool if you want. And we'll come here to the word fill, click on it, set this to none and click OK. And we'll come here to stroke, make sure that's at the solid color and click OK. And what we're going to do is from the center, hold down shift, control, and just draw a perfect circle like this. And make sure that this is centered up in your composition. And we'll come here to add and we'll just add a trim paths. Open this up and we'll set the end to 0% and we'll add a keyframe for it. And we'll move forward by one second. Set that up to 100%. And then we'll come back here to begin the timeline, maybe to frame five or so, add a keyframe for start. Go to 105 in the timeline and set the start up to 100%. We'll grab both these keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make it easy, ease keyframes. Come here to the graph editor. And what we'll do is select these points down here and we'll grab these handles and we'll just drag them in like this. And we'll go ahead and do that for the other batch as well. And what's going to happen is we're going to have a very nice custom animation. So what we can do is take our shape layer and go to edit, duplicate, you can hit S on keyboard for scale and we can scale this out to be a little larger. And we come here to like the stroke color and change the color say to white. And we'll go ahead and duplicate it again. And we can scale this one maybe inward. So we have like this little color palette here. And then we can just kind of offset these randomly in time or, you know, kind of create a staircase animation. And what's going to happen is boom, now you have this nice little circle animation here. All right. So what I want to do now is grab the lips tool again. This time we'll turn the fill back on and we'll turn off the stroke. So it's none. Click OK. And we're just gonna draw a perfect circle down shift and just make sure we're centered up here in the you know center of our timeline control double click the pan behind tool to put the anchor point right in the center and we'll bring this layer underneath our logo of course so we'll make this shape layer white and we'll just add a keyframe for scale move that keyframe forward in time maybe by a half second or so and we'll set the scale to zero percent once again we'll grab the keyframes make them easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 go to graph editor and do that quick you know, animation technique that we just did with the handles, boom, you'll have that. So what we want to do here now is take the shape layer and we'll duplicate it. We'll come here and change the color to maybe like a primary logo color or something that fits the brand. And we can offset the color or the layer in time. We'll duplicate it one more time. Offset that in time and we can change the color back to whatever color we want, like white. And I'll come here and just change the, my logo color to black so it'll fit perfectly. So what's going to happen here is boom, the circle animation is going to come in and then we just got to have our logo animated in as well. So, so boom, we'll have our circles and we'll have our logo. So we'll want to just do a quick scale animation on our logo. So we'll add a key, hit Astro Keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for scale for the logo. Move that keyframe forward in time and set the, the logo down to 0% and just customize those keyframes really quick. So now with everything timed out, now we have this perfect graphic reveal for our logo and you don't have to keep the circle there. You can animate it out. You can use a square, just depends on what you want to do. All right, so we have the basis of our logo animation here, but of course you're probably gonna have a name for the company that you're doing animation for. So what you should do is you should try to get their typeface, exactly what it is, and type it out here in After Effects. So, you know, know that font and type it out. It's the best way to do it. If it's custom, you're gonna have to just do it with more transform properties. Uh, but with our custom typeface here that I just made up, what we can do is come here to the logo layer, go to the Animate tab, and you can do something called Enable Per Character 3D. Keep it very simple come here to animate and add say a rotation and then come here to add go to property and add an opacity set the opacity down to zero percent and then you'll come here and we can set the y rotation to 90 degrees open up range selector one add a keyframe for that move forward in time maybe by a second and set that up to 100 percent so now you have a title animation like this and that looks great. So one way to improve our logo animations is by using accent motion graphics, which we'll use from our 650 motion graphics starter pack extension right here for After Effects. So by using accent graphics out of motion graphics starter pack, we can help spruce up this composition really quick. And you can download these for free as well. I'll link that in the description. You can get this in our 
extension here for After Effects, but this is our Motion Graphics Star Pack extension where, have we, where we have 650 templates from Axon Graphics to title animations, animated backgrounds, and just much more in this pack. So how our extension works is very simple. What we can do is grab one element that we can use here and click on Apply, and it'll automatically apply a template to our composition. And we go into this comp and we can easily change our colors or other parameters as needed. And then back in our main composition, everything will update. And what we can do with this accent graphic is we can grab it, we can scale it down, and then just reposition it in another spot in our composition. Simply what we can do is take this layer and duplicate it. And then we create a bunch of different copies around our composition and move it around and just offset them randomly in our timeline. So by doing that with our freebie pack or with our motion graphics start pack, you're going to get these accent graphics to help you spruce up your logo animation right here inside of After Effects so you can vary the sizes and do what you have to do. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. For our final technique, you know, we have the basis of our accent graphics. If you're going to use this in here, this is a nice little shape custom logo animation here. But I want to add some extra details to this because it's just kind of boring. So what we can do to help this out is we grab all of our layers and we'll go to layer pre-compose, you can call it all. And first thing we're going to do is apply a quick transition at the beginning of our timeline here. So what we'll do is come here to effect transition and we're going to grab CC line sweep. This is a really cool effect. I'm going to change the direction to 90 degrees and click on flip direction. You can use anything you want there, but we'll come here, add a keyframe for completion. And we'll move that keyframe forward in time, maybe by a little bit, and set the completion up to 100%. And I'll come into the thickness, and I'll go ahead and make this a little bit larger. So now we'll have a very nice transition to reveal our scene on. Now, in a little detail to this, I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. Go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and add some noise to this, as always. Set this to 8%, uncheck Use Color Noise, go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and add HSL, uh, Noise HSL, and we'll change the noise to Grain. And we'll come here to the lightness and increase that by a little bit, maybe, maybe like 10% or something. I'll click stopwatch for noise phase and type in time asterisk 200. So what this does is add some nice fine detail to our composition and it looks really nice. So that is our tutorial on creating custom logo animation right here for After Effects. Hopefully you found this tutorial fun and insightful. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.